Hey, hi guys, how you doing this morning? Uh, it's Wednesday, January 29th, and I uh, thought I'd take a sneak preview of uh, what snow blocks look like before they start carving on them. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get down here while they're carving them because i got another job I'm doing and I'm not going to be able to get down here at the right time. So Saturday morning I'm going to come down and uh, film the results after these are all carved and show you what they look like. So uh, I'm going to just take you around and show you uh, what these look like. Okay, I'm going to take you around and show you some of the blocks, explain how they're made. We understand it. Uh, we uh, got a mold over on the other side. I'm going to show you the mold on uh, what they use. They don't use plywood. It's made out of uh, some other material, and then we'll take a look at that as we go. We'll just give you a general idea. I believe there's 15 uh, teams that they're going to use this year. The way I was told. And if you want to see how the blocks are actually made, uh, Geneva Shore Report channel has that available. Just go to their channel and they'll show you because uh, they come down each morning and do the weather report. And uh, they showed it on Monday, I believe, when they started building these. So this is a little sneak preview before we get to the show on the road. I'll be coming down Saturday morning and uh, show you some of the carvings. Hopefully they'll all be finished. But I'm sure it'll be some that's not completed because I think they get judged. The deadline is Saturday at noon. I'm not 100% sure on that. Well, I'm going to take you over to Flat Iron Park now. Okay, we're at Flat Iron Park now. And uh, show you some of the. There's quite a bit going on down here, too. This is uh, all the. Uh, the big ones for the part of the Riviera continuation. Total, I believe, of 15. As you can see over there, they got the park set up for the kids. We'll be covering that when we come down Saturday. Uh, just to inform you, this is all going to be on one film. I'm down here the 29th of January, right now. And uh, I'll just uh, piece this in with. Uh, Saturday's video, so we're, it'll all be one video. Okay, here's the uh, mold they use to make the uh, blocks. As you can see, they got these ratchet straps that hold it together. It's done in a three-piece unit. And then up on top, they dump the snow in with a front-end loader, and then they got three or four guys on top packing it in. And then when they get it all packed, then they snap the straps off and continue on and make the rest of them. So, I meant to get down here to watch them build these, but I didn't get a chance to get down here. Got, they, they did it too soon. It was on Monday and Tuesday. And today is Wednesday, so I didn't get a chance to actually see it. So if you guys want to see how it's done, just go to the Geneva Shore Report. I think it's on their Monday deal and you can see them actually build it so well this is it for today and uh, like I said I'm going to put this all together as one video and then uh, we'll show you what the results looks like and like I say I'm going to go downtown and I'm going to uh, see what the ice sculptures look like at the same time so hang on and uh, with a split couple seconds uh, you'll see the results. All right, here we go. Okay, like I said, one or two seconds, we'll be right into the snow sculpture. And uh, this is our first one uh, today, Illinois. Get a good look at it. We're here bright and early this morning. And a good look at the detail these great artists have to do here. I don't know how well this is going to show up because we're doing it 
dark situation with lights on. I just thought it'd be a nice effect. Got quite a bit of detail on these. This one here is Michigan. And uh, we'll see what we can do with this one. Got a little bit of glare I see. With the lights. That'll give you a good idea. I like to kind of jump in there, but I can't. I'm not allowed to go behind the rope. So that was Michigan. Let's see what we got over here. This one is Iowa. Try to walk so we get a little bit of different angles here so we don't have too much glare off the lights. Look at the detail on the face and the hand, how round the ball is on top, got the whole world on his shoulders. Do have some people working down here, some teams, believe it or not it's 5.30 in the morning, Saturday like I said I'd come down here. This one is Wisconsin, a great state I live in. Let's see what we got here. This is subject matter that they're doing. This one is Illinois. These guys are working at it, working at it as we speak. Okay, now we got New Hampshire. This one has not a lot of light on. That's pretty incredible. A lot of detail on that one. Let's look at the glasses, three-dimensional. Just incredible.
You see, there's about three teams down here working. We got another Wisconsin. Minnesota one team deal fight. Hello. Morning. Okay, now we got another Illinois here. The Windy City. So this is the subject they're doing. And this is pretty much the results of it. Beautiful job. Now on these uh, sculptures now, they're not allowed to use any tools that are battery operated or electrical. It all has to be done with hand tools. Uh, heading over to Flatiron Park, just down the road here. Got quite a bit going on down here, I see. Continue on down the sidewalk. Okay, this one's main.
beautiful. Colorado. Right and early, trying to get everything done by, I believe it's 11 o'clock. They got to put their tools down, and then uh, that's it, and they get judged. There's usually three people on each team. Let's see anybody on this one. You want the weather report right now? I come into Lake Geneva and it's pretty foggy. It is misting a little bit. So uh, it's not really freezing. Here, I gotta get the picture of the sign first here. These guys are from Vermont. And they got their little stitch down here. If I get on it. This is what it represents. This is what they come up with. These are not completely done. Like I said, they got until 11 o'clock today. And they gotta put their tools down and they're, they, they get judged from there. 
So again, I can't go over the rope. I have to do the best I can off the sidewalk. Wow, here's one that's far away. Alaska. I wish I could get inside and I could do a walk around. Well, that's pretty neat. About three years ago, I've done this when. Uh, Trump was campaigning. He had a had a Trump uh, sculpture down here. You'll find it. In, it's called uh, "What a Snowflake Can Turn Into." You may want to watch that. It's on my playlist somewhere. Let's see what we got here. Uh oh, we got music. Yeah, I thought I was gonna get by, and I have to worry about music, but. I guess this guy's playing in the radio, so I had to mute this clip out, so I gotta do a voiceover over it. But, uh, what do you guys think so far? I think some of this work is fantastic. Did a wonderful job. You gotta c c consider, too, that, you know, this is a national event, so these are all pros. You know, you don't get this on your typical, uh, small town events where they're doing snow sculpting. You know, there's a very few amount of people that have this type of quality you know so we're fortunate to have them come around once a year in Lake Geneva Wisconsin so if you're ever in the area around this time of the year stop by and check it out I'm sure they would honor you to have you stop by so all right we're getting the next clip and uh, I'll take over this was Nebraska One team ever working on this one right now so far. Doing the final touches. Can't believe I got most everything. Pretty sure I got them all. I already head over to the uh, area where we have uh, the uh, freelance, where they can come in and carve out of blocks down in this area over here. We'll see what they come up with. There's a lot of activities that are going on down here. I can't cover it all because I'm limited on time frame. I got to be somewhere at 9.30 this morning. So I'm just, uh, and also I like the idea of doing this at night. You know, not so much night, but early morning when it's totally dark. You can see a little different effect on the colors, the way the lights are hitting it. This ought to be a little more artistic. But these are all the freelance ones. I think that, yeah, they got like the middle schools come down and do them. You got Walworth and Fontana. And they got Delavan in here, I'm sure. Yeah, Reek, Reek School, Wood School. The schools from all over.
<laughs> oh, watch out for that snow. Do a few few skids while I'm videotaping here. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to take a walk downtown and look at some of the ice sculptures. There's one here, first ice sculpture downtown. We're right across from Keith Real Estate. And this one there. You don't give the name sign. Maybe they do, maybe I'm not just seeing them in the front. I get out in the street here. Uh, this one. That's yeah, good that I got here early because it is mist and rain. You see the streets are all shiny from moisture. in these well, my trip paid off get down there early so I don't have to fight the crowd and traffic just gotta watch out for slippery spots occasionally I'll fall down with the camera I don't want to do that Look down there, there's nothing going on down there except gotta watch the rain doesn't hit me in the camera lens. It says don't walk, can't walk. Now we can go. Oh, not fast enough. We'll get hit. I hope you can hear me okay. Don't have a lot to say, but I uh, hope you're enjoying the beautiful artwork that's uh, being displayed, the ice sculptures and the snow sculptures. Okay. I'd show you the names, but there's no names on these. Not exactly sure how that works and who's in charge of them. A little bit of walk, but not, it's well, well worth it. It's well worth it. Now we're getting into some signs. 
Walsh and Brown. Very old. Very old gift shop. Sometimes you get more uh, better video of ice at uh, evening or real early morning than you would during the day because the sun, if the sun is out, it'll glare and then you don't see the details nice. So it might be an advantage this, I don't know. We'll see. There, there's the... Uh, a little beautiful scene I thought I'd throw in here for you. I got the lights on. Look down in the flat iron park down here. That's pretty interesting things you can get at night. Not so much night, but dark morning before the sun comes out. There's Geneva Tower. Oh, it looks. You see it's pretty foggy out. Hopefully you got a good day for this today. They're calling on today to be their biggest day. So, uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, we're at the warming tent down here at Flatiron Park. Or in case it gets too cold, everybody can go in there. Not everybody, but a few people can get in there and warm up a little bit. Uh, well, this concludes our our uh, video for the uh, winter fest for Lake Geneva uh, there's a lot more happening down here uh, they had uh, what they call bonfires on the lake shore at nighttime they had a thing with the uh, uh, the uh, hot chocolate where you could go and get get your hot chocolate there's several different flavors uh, there's a lot of different activities down there going on uh, there's a uh, human uh, uh, dog sled pole, I believe that uh, they do. I heard about that. Uh, I wasn't able to talk to anybody that I didn't want to bother anybody because they're real busy doing their thing and you know, I thought it'd be a little rude to break in and start talking but I suppose I could have but I didn't want to take that chance. I don't know what uh, uh, the prize money is at all for this. Uh, maybe you can find out doing some research on the web or something like that. But uh, as of now, all I can tell you is the rules and uh, it's uh, a United States uh, competition. It's all the different states. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's quite a few that participated. So this is it for the video. This concludes our video. And uh, I'll be bringing you to the next show, which will be the Sky Circus on Ice for Delavan. And that's where we'll see some kites flying on the ice on the lake. And then also uh, they'll have snow sculpting done in the downtown Delavan area. So we'll be covering that. Uh, there's not a lot really going on other than that. Uh, we're trying to do the best we can on finding activities to do for the winter time. It's slow. I see everybody's slow right now for videos due to winter time, and uh, we're just trying to do the best we can with what we got. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please put the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to me if you're brand new to the channel. I would appreciate that. And leave some comments. Comments are real nice to have. Uh, I don't get to the comments uh, right away. It takes a while because uh, I am working 
uh, odd jobs and I'm very busy and I try to sneak in these videos as you can see uh, I had to come out here early this morning to do this this was in my plans due to the fact that I have to be somewhere at 9 30 this morning so uh, all right all that, that aside you guys have a great day we'll see you on the next video all right bye